fashion. This table is gonna cost me my life. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel where we take old clothes and make it fashion. Today, I'm gonna make a Met Gala look within one hour. I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna remake this Troya Sivan dress. Apparently he's an actor, a singer, and a YouTuber. I've not seen his channel yet. Probably not as big as mine. And if nobody puts you on a pedestal, nobody invites you to the Met Gala, just put yourself on a pedestal, guys. So this is a dress. We're gonna slim down the silhouette. Make some beautiful cutouts. Ooh, ah, sexy. Oops. Oops. I'm sexy and I know it. So, bye bye, decency. We're gonna start with cutting the dress down the middle. Not only because we want those cute, tiny little pleats gone. Bye bye, cha cha. Never come back, please. But also because we want to elongate the dress. Yes, it's gonna be having a little more dramatic line. I reckon it will be looking much better elongating the dress around the waist than adding just a strip in the bottom. It's the width of the skirt part without the pleating. That's great. Then we have some extra fabric to elongate the dress. Uh, 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 uh. Uh -oh. So then I'm gonna just fit the top part. I think it's clever to make that one smaller first. Try to see how wide the top is gonna be. Then if we sew on the third part, we can save more fabric if this is already smaller. So I pinned the top part down to the correct width, but we all know I pinned like a two years old, not symmetrical at all. First gonna measure out the width. I make sure I take the same amount of fabric off on both sides in. By the way, don't let your two year old play with pins. Who are you? Then I'm gonna take the Oh, yes. yes, the dogs. Give them a break from protecting the crown jewels and get them to weigh down my fabric for a little bit. Because it had this A-line shape, I wanted to get it out of there completely. Which inside was maybe not that clever. You still want to walk in this long dress. So you might want to make sure it's wide enough around the ankles. You know, hold it. So my skirt part is starting under the hips. I'm just gonna cut it straight down to the hem. But I'd say I recommend a little bit of A-line. It's gonna be stretch fabric, but if you have much bigger legs than the top part, you may want to give the dress some curves. So then we have this large piece of fabric left that we can use as the waist part. So it's just gonna be Edem Dictus, guys. Cutting two square pieces of fabric. In case you didn't know it, Edem Dictus means the same in Latin. Did that make me sound clever? I have it from the internet. In an ideal world, you would want to take the same direction of the fabric for the waist part as for the other parts. However, we all know it's 2021. The world ain't ideal, so we have to do it with what we have. I'm gonna use the fabric to a 90 degrees. It's almost the time of the year where the leaves will fall off the trees and the sleeves will be cut off the tops. Does that make any sense? Not really, huh? But you know, they're gone. They're out of the way. Pinned it one more time, a little bit more nicely this time to see if the width is good and not like tight tight, that the fabric is pulling. I think I'm pretty good with this. It's rather they call it tail already on there. So um, I made a star. <laughs> Camera is not turned on. So deep, it's like almost scandalous. The example here to look at to make sure it's more or less the same. Again, when I'm marking, especially on myself, it's not precise at all. Hot damn! As opposed to what I'm doing, I'd recommend that you would first finish the dress and then draw on the shoulder lines and the décolleté. At this point, I didn't realize yet how much this curve part would weigh down. Basically make the décolleté and armholes even more scandalous. Make sure that the Nipples popping out deeper and deeper, 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 deeper. Then make the curves as beautiful as possible. Using a curved ruler will definitely help. I'm first gonna cut the shoulder and neckline on one side and then I copy it to the other side by folding it over. Laying a ruler in the middle to make this method look a little more legit on camera. Pretty critical so is that I'm watching. Getting my ruler out. Ugh. Honestly guys, as always, if there's a better way to do this, please let me know in the comments. You want to make sure, especially with the thin shoulder bands, that they're more or less the same on both sides. I speak from experience. I'm gonna say that that doesn't really happen automatically. These kind of small, you know, distances you do want to be quite precise. I felt like it must be a sign because the sleeves just had enough fabric to make a proper facing. So I kind of spontaneously decided to make facings. And yes, I believe in science now. Wait, science or science? Ah, the dead boat, amazing. So I'm just gonna cut exactly the same shapes for the facing, but there will be a seam in the middle front. Because the sleeves were not that huge that I could cut it all out of there in one piece. 
So, let's get the lock machine, overlocker, surger, I don't know how you want to call it. Oh, I didn't use that in a while. Are we still within the hour? Of course, of course. It only took five minutes to cut that. Don't have a surgery, you know that you can use a little zigzag stitch on your sewing machine just to get the same kind of stretchy effect. Sewing the front panel and the back panel, the three parts together. And it's gonna be so much fun! No one's hyping you up, you gotta do it yourself, guys. <sighs> Like I might have cut the skirt a little too narrow now. <sighs> I'm in the mirror to see if the lines, the, the seams are not, you know, being in a strange place. One in the waist and basically one under the hip. You might want to avoid placing a seam on the middle of your hip, you know. That's usually not so cute. And then I have one more hot tip, just in case my life did not turn out how you'd expected it once again. Make it work. In other words, yes, my pieces were not fitting that well together. However, I can just chop it, crop it and forget about it. Nobody has to know. How many minutes are we in? 29? <laughs> Better to just spin the side seams together now. I think I'm gonna leave one side, uh, the bottom a little bit open so that uh, there's a slit. Not sure if I otherwise can still walk in this dress. Cut quite long. Weight is kind of pulling all the fabric and stretching it out. Take that into account. <laughs> they call it gravity. It happens to us all. It's called science, Brenda. Look it up. Oh wait, was it science? Weighing down a lot. So I'm just gonna chop off a little bit of these straps. Make them a little less long so that my nipples will maybe be a little less visible. I know that's why you're here on my channel, but um, you know. Gotta keep it decent. YouTube guidelines. Cut this open again. A seam rip. Uh, good. I'm just waiting for those red carpet events to come. That would be funny though. <laughs> to just straight out copy someone's complete look. Same jewelry, same dress, same shoes. And then when they ask you like, why did you do it? Do not copy. Then we're gonna go to the facings and search the halves together. I'm really shortening the facing a lot because I have the suspicion that this middle front seam will peek through to the other side. The plan is to make this thing too glam to give a damn and not make it look like some kind of scam. Can I get an A man? So I sew the complete facing on the shoulder and neckline, good side on the good side. Going a little bit on autopilot and we all know that's not too clever. Turns out. No, it is. I've been teaching you so much. Please tell me now how to turn this inside out. I've been doing enough, okay? I think we might have a problem, Houston. This simply does not work. Fashion designers don't know that shit, guys. It's been years since I've been sewing a pacing like this. What was I thinking? I feel like instead of the big colleté getting deeper and deeper and deeper, the shoulder straps are getting shorter and shorter and shorter, and the big colleté is going up and up and up. But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I said, don't worry. There will be a nipple guest appearance in the end. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, magic stick is back and we're gonna use it to turn the straps inside out. Oh, so fulfilling. Then I'm gonna carefully iron the neckline, the shoulder lines. And there's a little trick, you might want to cut away some of the seam allowances where it's getting too thick when there's two or three seam allowances coming together. Just don't cut it too short. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> Stitch the shoulder straps together and to make the edges a little more crisp I'm gonna zigzag one more time over it with my sewing machine. This is kind of optional depending on the fabric you're using and the result that you're going for. And then what it's all about. Cut it. The cutouts. <laughs> and then, ladies and gentlemen, copy it to the other side. Exactly. Holding it over. <laughs> Gotta spread the love, otherwise they get jealous. It's the whole thing. Now I can see how great I've sewn this together. But it's stretch. <laughs> but it's stretch. Nothing can go really wrong because it's stretch. Everything will be fine because it's stretch. So I'm searching in elastic first around the edges. I feel like the elastic was maybe a little too stiff. I don't know if there's anything else you can use or maybe skip it all together. Then I'm folding in one time. 
and using the same zigzag stitch I used before to stitch it all down. Ended up looking a little wonky, so uh, yeah, I went in and pressed it very well. It was still looking really wonky, so I decided to cut the elastic so that there was only a very thin strip of elastic still inside. I feel like this made it look acceptable, but not phenomenal. Let me know in the comments if you how you would finish something like this. You might want to consider taking an elastic in the right color. However, fun fact, did you know that Sharpies were originally invented to correct little sewing mistakes like these? Yeah, they might believe that. As we all know in fashion, it's all about the details. Troy's outfit was styled with a beautiful, expensive, sparkly Cartier necklace, which obviously yours truly also had lying around. So I just had to dig it up from my drawer. And for the cool, chunky buckle bracelet he had, I happened to also find something in my kind of test sample pile. And what can you not revive with a little bit of tape and a little bit of Sharpie? 59 minutes and 59 seconds! Just in time! Just have to wait for a little bit because shaving my chest and now everything is wet. I don't have the black cool Rick Owen shoes, unfortunately. I have white boots and this is dark blue, remember? So it's not a sin. There's some holes in the house. You see them, point them out. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on the notifications as well because otherwise probably you won't see my new videos. I hope to see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching.